So far we have a modeled bass drum, which you can hear right now. We can show you one of the, the synthesis methods we have, um, our sampling, which I'm going to turn off the sample. And then we have um, an external synthesizer, which I'm going to show you right now. Sequence it. That was one sequencer on one track, so you can imagine you can multiply that times four and on a full system up to 16 times. Hello, my name is Daz of Daz Instruments. We're from Vancouver, Canada, and this is our first time at the Music Mesa to present our first creation, our first product, the uh, Daz Alex, which is the all expandable synthesizer in sequencing platform. It's expandable because it comes in uh, multiple sizes, uh, and you as the user can build it up from. Uh, by purchasing a single unit, which is called the main module, I can tell you. and expand it to a larger system. The main module comes with four tracks of synthesizers. Each track has a mix, effects, loop, and sequencing. So I can pick different sequences on different tracks. And all of those get mixed to a main output. Uh, the outputs are located on the back of the main module. But then, if you want, if that's not enough for you, uh, the back also has an expansion, so you can run audio in, audio out. This is our first board. We'll, we will, we're planning on doing more. Uh, the uh, audio outs are also control voltage, so you can control with this synthesizer your modular s or other control voltage synthesizers. Th these are fast audio rate. Uh, D2As, so we can actually generate our own LFOs, envelopes, and other control signals that are can be quite complex and quite fast. Now, that's not enough for you because you maybe you don't like having seeing only eight steps at a time. If we can expand you to a bigger unit, uh, and you can add what's called an add module. The add module basically adds what I just said over there, it adds four more tracks of polyphonic synthesizers, uh, each with a mixer. Now, this the second unit doesn't show you this functionality, but it would add what you see here, more effects, um, a looper, which is in progress, and a step sequencer, so you can have four more tracks of, of, these, uh, of, of these instruments. Um, when polyphony is not enough, we, we're working on an expansion card, uh, the DSP expansion card, which we have, and you can put one in each unit, just like you can put expansions in each unit, like we talked about earlier. So you start off with you can start off with one, add a, another add later, and expand until you get to four units, which gives you a total of 16 tracks which is quite a bit considering every track is, uh, is, is able to do some polyphony. We're still developing the models, we're in early stages, so we can't say what the polyphony will be, uh, but uh, yeah, we're, we're pretty happy with uh, what we have so far. So you imagine you can multiply that times four and on a full system up to 16 times. Um, that's it. In a, in a nutshell, I mean, they can also uh, we have scenes for linking sequencers and presets together. Uh, presets are basically memories that store sequences or sets of uh, parameter settings, so they're stored per track and per uh, track part, which is instrument mix effects loop. And then scenes will trigger them, so you can have changes and be composing your song. And that's basically Alex in a nutshell.
Thank you for visiting us at Dallas.com and Winsick Test in 2016. And uh, we encourage you to visit us at Dallas.com where uh, we can subscribe to our newsletter in which we're releasing more information over the months to come. We're still in development. We'd like to release the new product this year. And, uh, you know, and, and you can get latest information, videos, and news uh, through that newsletter. So, so sign up today, Dallas.com. Thank you.